good morning. Well, if you're looking at this again, oh, I forgot my mic. Sorry. If you're watching this at a different time, but 6.30 in the morning, I was a little off there. My apologies. Okay. So, good morning. If it's not morning where you're at, or if you're watching this later, welcome to, uh, to LJ's Yoga. We're calling it Sunrise Yoga because hopefully as we go through this day, you're going to see the sunlight coming through the window. Couple of things before we get started. This is meant to be a somewhat challenging class, so that doesn't mean that it's going to be technically very difficult. Uh, but what we're going to do is hold the poses for maybe a little longer. Uh, the poses that we're doing are trying to get a little deeper into them if you're able to. So it's kind of it's meant to be um, more of a workout. So do what you can do. If you can't do something, you get fatigued. It's okay to come out of that pose at any time. Relax. Take a break, shake your legs out, arms, whatever you need to do, okay? Um, a couple of things. Hopefully you had a little bit of breakfast. If you didn't, that's okay, but take it easy. We really want you to have breakfast. You also see I have a towel and some water. You go, why does he have towel and water for yoga? Well, I tend to swell a little bit, and this should be a workout for you. So perhaps you want some water to take a water break, maybe a towel if you need it. Also, um, you, if you have available, now I know most of you don't have these, these are down about yoga blocks, okay? If you don't have them, no worries. If you've done yoga and you're experiencing this, you probably won't need them. If you haven't done yoga before, or it's been a while, or you think you might need a little assistance, you can maybe find some hard back books. Just try to make sure they're equal heights. So we're going to use the yoga block maybe in front of us like so, or the book, or on the side of us with both hands like that. So if you have something similar, or some books, heavy, heavy, like I said, hardback books that you'll be able to put on the floor, you might want those handy. We are going to do one other pose that's called Warrior Three later for balance. So that's a more challenging pose. If you're close to a sturdy chair, um, maybe a sofa or a couch, something that's firm, that won't tip over, that if you need to put your hands on for balance, it'd be great to have something that close by, um, just to assist with this pose I want to get to it if needed, okay? So I think that's everything. Um, let's get started. So start with our feet, hip distance apart. Open those toes up, spread them nice and wide. Again, our hips are in here, they're not out wide. And we definitely don't want the real narrow, so it really hurts our big our base or our balance. So right about here, if you this apart, soft knees. What I mean by that is we're not crouching down, but we also don't want them locked down. So nice soft knees. The hips come forward just a little bit as you brace and engage those glutes. The core wants to brace and engage by gently pulling the belly button in towards the spine and allowing the lower back to stay nice and supported. Okay? A little shoulder roll back. Let those arms relax down towards the floor, palms forward. And let's begin with a nice, deep breath. And through our nose. Follow a quick exhale out through the mouth. And just repeat that a few times. Big, deep inhale. And one or two more times at your pace. Allow that exhale out to release any tension, any fatigue. Does anything you feel like you're carrying this morning? One more time. Nice long deep breath in through the nose. Good. Now, with your eyes closed, if you're comfortable with that, continue a nice long deep breath in through the nose, followed by a nice long gentle exhale back out through the nose. Just bring the mind's attention and awareness to the breath. Maybe you're making that breath, hear that breath coming in through the nose and back out through the nose. Maybe a little bit of a Darth Vader sound, that inhale and that exhale. Work at making that breath equal lengths, equal length inhale and exhale back out. We take the first few minutes before we begin here to focus on our breath. We're just going to use that breath throughout the class to maybe deepen a pose, 
to help ourselves recover. So we want to be aware of the breath, how we can control it, how we can use it to help the body energize and relax. Now next inhale, try and start the breath at the bottom of the abdomen, a lot of slowly up through the lungs and into the chest. And on the exhale out, release the top of the chest first, lock them down through the lungs and into the abdomen. It's called a three-part breath. And if you find this challenging, a little difficult, that's okay. Just do the best you can. Again, I'm going to work at bringing our mind's attention and awareness to the breath. Controlling the pace, the depth, and the rhythm of that breathing.
So I'm going to take one leg, lift and hands to the underneath the knee or in front of the knee, lift up, and then back down slowly. Working the balance. Again, if you can't get this high, just be high as you can be as high as you're able to, and back down. If that's right to here, that's okay. If you come all the way up, a little extra lift to the top, back down. And when you lift, you've got plant leg, the knee stays soft. We're going to lock it out. Brace the core, put the shoulders back. Let's do two more each side. Lift. And down slowly, control. Try to maintain that balance. Back down. One more each side. Lift. Let's hold a little bit if you can this time. Exhaling out, lifting up. And back down. Take a nice big inhale. Lift. If you can hold, exhale out. Lift a little higher through that exhale. Back down. Shake legs out just a little bit. Now I'm going to lift. The leg up. And just open up the outside. And down. And the other side. Switch the weight. Come up. Lift. And out. And down. Again, the leg we're standing on. Keep that knee soft so we're not locking that joint out. We want to use the quadriceps and those muscles to help brace and engage and balance. When we lock the joint out, we put the tension and a strain on that joint and also the adjacent joint. So we don't want to do that. Back down. Two more each side. Up. Hey, everybody. Here is a few of you out there this morning. Welcome. And back down. Again, up. Again, brace the abdominals. Strong through the core. That's your balance comes from. One more each side. Let me try to come up. Out. Hold for a little bit. Maybe extending this arm for some balance. Opening up that hip. Plant knees soft. And relax. Bring that down. Shake that leg out. Other leg up. Come out. And if you're able to hold. If you need to start a balance, a little counter balance. Help you balance. Feel free. And release. Bring it down. Shake both legs out. All right. Hopefully we're warming up just a little bit. So now we're going to start one more workout. So we're going to step wide. Now wide can be a little something different for everybody, okay? You definitely want to be out wider than your hips. So if you don't have a lot of hip flexibility or you're brand new to this, maybe staying a little closer, not quite as wide. If you're a little more confident in your flexibility, or if you're doing yoga for a while, extend those legs out even a little wider. Give yourself a wider stance. Now, if you like, it's a little more challenging for those toes are pointing straight forwards. If you want to help those hips open up a little bit, you can turn those toes out towards the side a little bit. That helps with the hips opening as we well through this. So again, that's a little thing, but you can modify that as you like. Toes pointing forward. Now, when you do this, one thing, pay attention to your knees, okay? Now, I'm going to give a lot of instruction this morning before you do something. It's just for those of you that are out there that maybe haven't done this before. So turning the toes out also helps when we go down into a straddle squat to keep those knees out pointing towards your toes. If you start to find your toes are pointing forward and you come down and your knees collapse in like this, you definitely want to open those toes up a little bit and allow those thighs to press out and those knees towards your toes, okay? So it's an important part of our alignment when we're doing this, not to allow those knees to crash in. So you want to come down and press out. So we're going to start off as wide a stance as you're comfortable with. Again, the wider you go, the more challenging it's going to be to maintain that format posture. So begin to up. Reach your head. As we exhale, come down into the flowers. So come down almost like I'm waving to you right here like this. And you back up. Exhale, coming down. Sit back into those heels. Good. Inhale, back up. Exhale, sit back and down. Keep the abdominals strong, back supported, we're not arching. Inhaling up and coming back down. If you can, each time, so a little lower. Four more of these. Inhale up. Exhale, sit back and down. Again, go as deep as you're able to in this. The wonderful thing about yoga, inhale up. It's your practice. You do what you can do. There's no competing with me, anybody else. Just challenge yourself this morning within the level that you're comfortable. One more. Inhale. Reach the ceiling. Exhale, coming down. Good. Inhale, come back up. 
Just have to sit back and down. We're going to extend our arms out to the side. Have a finger T, palms up for sun. And we're going to hold for a little bit. So as you sit here, inhale through the nose as you exhale. Sit a little deeper if you can. Now again, look at my knees. Make sure they're not collapsing in. Press your thighs out. Knees towards your toes. Shoulders relaxed. Palms up. If your shoulders are full of fatigue, focus the energy out on the tips of your hands or your fingers. So you feel the quads working a little bit as you exhale, sit a little lower, big inhale up. Let's do that one more time. Exhale, coming down. And hold. Nice. Again, abdominals should be strong. When you pull that belly button, those core muscles are towards your small your back. Feel the lower back flatten, stay nice and supported. Feel the quads working in the inside legs and through here. Big inhale back up. Now, big exhale, sunflowers all the way down, hinging the hips. Again, flat back, then in four, coming down towards the ceiling, sweeping towards the floor with those hands. Big inhale back up. So, when you do this, don't just hinge at the waist. As you exhale, drop the hips first, then hinge at the hips, lowering. So, we get low in that squat before you tilt at the hips. Big inhale back up. Woo, nice job. You should be getting more about now. I know I am. Down. Inhale back up. Big exhale, all the way down. Inhale, back up. Good form in that squat as we come down. Four more, exhaling. Inhale, back up. Nice job. Moving with the breath. Three more, exhale. Inhale, back up. Nice, just two more. Big exhale. Inhale, reach high to the ceiling. Feel that extension. Come on, extend. Last one here. Big exhale. Then you inhale, back up. Nice big reach. Hold it. Come on up to the ceiling. Reach. Exhale, come down. Whew, that's good legs. A little break. So let's shake them out just a little bit before we start the real work of the workout here. All right. So if you need a drink, grab it quickly. I know. Hey, I'm starting to leak a little bit already. So back to that straddle stance. So again, we warmed up. I might have given you uh, some kind of indication of how wide you should step this morning, all right? So again, if you think you can go a little wider with your stance, feel free. If you go bad, that was a little challenging for me already. Narrow the stance a little bit. It'll be a little less challenging as we go through the workout. So again, guys with the feet. Point towards, straight forwards if you'd like. If you need those hips up a little bit more, just turn them out a little bit, help opening those hips, okay? So, nice big inhales come up. Now as we exhale, we're gonna go ahead and repeat that sunflower, but we're not gonna drop into the squat as much. We're gonna keep the legs straighter. We're gonna hinge the hips and try and get those hands to the floor. Now this is where that book or maybe a pillow might help. If you can't get the hands to the floor, Use a prop, or you can rest your hands above your knees and just simply lower the chest, okay? And we're going to stay here for a little bit, using our exhale to try and deepen our stretch here. Now I'm going to turn sideways. If you need to come up slowly, look at me. I want you to see my posture. As I come down, that posture we started with, the top of the neck spine all flat straight. As you tilt forward, try and maintain that posture, okay? And if you can, reach the floor. And as you exhale, Using that breath with the exhale, lower the chest a little more. Try and keep the back flat and straight. Okay, so as you exhale, lower. Again, hands to the floor. We're using the block or book if you have one. You can even throw a pillow down, just a little bit of a guideline if you have one. Now with each exhale, try and relax those muscles that are feeling the tension or the tightness today. And as you exhale, lower the chest. Using that breath to deepen the stretch. You may know to get your forearms to the floor. If you can, place your forearms on the floor. Standing out. Now just trying to stretch, using that exhale. Again, keep that top of the neck spine in line, next line getting deeper. Just a couple more breaths. Find that stretch to deepen. 
One more deep breath in. Exhale out one last time, go deeper. As you inhale, brace your abdominals and lift yourself back up slowly and gently until we're straight, nice and gently. Because I'm going to demonstrate our next one. So from here, take a deep breath in. As you exhale, tilt forward again. Now again, watch if you're not sure what we're going to do. And from here, we're going to rotate towards our one side. Keep each leg bent at the same bent. What I mean by that is don't collapse on the lunge to the side. We're going to keep the same bend in each leg. So we're going to rotate, trying to square our chest up towards that leg and bring the chest towards the top of that leg. So if you can't get there, just reach like so. This we kind of mod. Just reach the outside of the leg and rotate. Okay? If you can get deeper, bring that opposite hand to the outside of that ankle and reach across the whole leg. Anywhere in between is fine, okay? You can come just the top of the leg, down here, all the way down if you're able to for a deeper stretch. Whatever is a challenge for you, let's try that this morning. Now again, we're going to use the exhale to deepen the stretch. Breathe in through the nose, exhale out, deepen that stretch. Using the breath, big breath in, big exhale, rotate. Good, one more nice deep breath in. Exhale, a little deeper in that chest, we're in the shoulders if you're able to. Good, now you're going to lift the chest a little bit, we're going to rotate towards that leg that we're toward. Now we're going to Rotate into a lunge position. Now, you can start off knee to the floor. Again, here if you have a block at home or the books, you can have that on either side. So you want to get that knee right over your ankle and heel. So make an adjustment there. Hands on either side. Now this is our beginning position. If this is giving you a good stretch and you're feeling some work here, stay right there. If you feel a little more of a challenge, tuck that toe under. This is where it's going to really get difficult. We're going to work a little bit here. Come just off the floor of that back knee and try to keep it just off the floor for now. So maybe just two or three inches off the floor, not any higher. Hands here. Now, if you want a little more challenge, put your hands up on top of your leg. If you like more of a challenge from there, bring your hands up overhead and hold. Now again, your mod would be down like so, and just lift up like this, or like so. That would be sufficient also. If you're able to keep that knee off the ground, keep it off the ground. Now from here, if you're able to, Press with that front heel and lift up, but don't lock out that front knee, and back down. Press with that front heel, getting start with the knee on the mat or off the mat, and back down. Just two more, coming up, back down, control the movement, one more, coming up, back down, and hold. Now again, you can break here. Bring the knee to the mat, take a break. If not, stay up on that ball, that foot, those toes. Now from here, we're going to transition into another pose. Keep those arms down, chest to the top of that leg. Now again, you can leave that foot on the ground or the mat if you're there. If not, keep it up. We're going to transition into pyramid. So from here, straighten the leg out a little bit. Keep the chest against the top of that front leg. Ooh. Press the back heel down. So now you're going to stretch in that front hamstring. Press that back heel down if you can. Maybe turn your toe out a little bit to help open that hip. Square the shoulders up. Ooh, and she's not stretching through here. Maybe the calf and that back leg as you press that back heel down. Using the exhale, feel that stretch in the hamstring, that front leg. If you need a break, you can shift forward, okay? If you have the blocks or the hooks, use them on either side of the foot. Nice job so far. Hold one more time. Big inhale. Exhale. Keep it stretch. Inhale, come forward. Back in that lunge. Relax and bring that knee down. Now let's gently walk our hands back to the front and come back up into that shadow stance. Now before you stand, we're going to do a little break. We're going to walk forward. Now again, I want you to take a big inhale and come up right here. We need a little break. I want you to shake up the legs. I'm going to demonstrate our next move a little bit. So we're in our straddle stance. We're going to walk our hands forward. Okay, now from here, 
You can hold the plank, top of the head, back spine alignment, or you can drop to your knees for a modified plank, okay? Hold the plank there. When we walk out, we're also going to add, if you're able to, when you want to try it, a chaturanga push up. Down, and then back up. Okay, you can do that on your toes or on your knees, either way. So we have the option of holding a plank here, plank here with a push up. All open your toes, hold the plank, or open your toes and add the push up, okay? So, grab a drink of water if you need it. Back into that straddle stance. Woo. How are y'all doing? I'm starting to leak a little bit. Good workout. A little shoulder roll back. Nice big inhale as you come up. Reach to the side. Feel that extension. Now as you exhale, toe the hips, come down, keep those knees just gently flexed. And now we're going to walk the hands out of the way. Now you walk out slowly, keep the abdominals braced. Hold the plank here for a moment. You can be your knees to modify or all the way down. And now we're going to do a nice, slow shadow on the push up. Elbows stay by your side. All the way down if you can. And back up slowly and control. Then walk it back in. Walk it all the way back in. Stay flex the hips. Take a deep breath. Exhale out, lower the chest. Inhale, lift to the parallel to the ground again and walk it back out. Inhale out. Exhale down. Inhale, press up. Walk it back. Now again, modify this. Come down in your knees. Okay, take a deep breath in. Exhale, deepen that stretch, lower the head to the floor. Inhale, come back up. Parallel to the ground, walk it back out. We're just doing two more of this and one more. Chatter on the push up if you're able to. Back up. Walk it back in. Take a deep breath through the nose. Exhale out. Lower that chest. You might see that head getting closer to the ground. Big inhale back up. We got a little surprise though. So walk it back out. So walk it back out. Take a breath for a moment. Exhale down. And come back again. Hold it at the bottom. Try not to collapse on the ground. Hold it here. Keep this abdominal strong. Stick a good plank and press all the way back up. Walk it back in. Take a nice deep breath in. As you exhale out, lower the chest again. Inhale up. Take a nice big breath. Now we'll rotate towards that other side. So I'm going to repeat the sequence on the other side. So rotate. Again, you can have your hand above the knee, below the knee, all the way down the ankle. We're going to turn the torso so the chest is facing that leg. Now again, try not to let those knees collapse. What I mean by that is the side we're turning to, try not to collapse, no lunge. Keep an equal bend on each side. So do every rotation you're able to without collapsing that leg. Rotate the shoulders, chest towards the top of the leg, and if you can reach down the ankle, feel free to do so. If not, anywhere on that leg, just trying to challenge yourself this morning. Looks a little cloudy this morning, folks. There's a sunrise, but we're not going to see it. Using that breath, exhale, rotate, and turn. Using that breath to deepen the stretch. Try and identify where your body's resisting this morning. It means you exhale, allow that area of the body to relax. As you rotate, deepen the stretch. One more nice deep breath in. Rotate a little more, a little deeper towards that leg. Now as you inhale, lift the chest a little bit. And we're going to rotate towards that same side we're stretching. And now start off with dropping that back knee down from that modified stance. Again, start off, make sure that front knees are that leg or heel. Using the hands on either side of the foot. Again, if you have blocks at home or a nice sturdy hard back hook, using that. And if this is challenging for you, keep that knee in the mat like that. One more challenge, tuck that toe under and bring that back knee just a few inches off the mat, okay, or the floor. Now, if you're good here, stay here. A little more challenge, bring those hands up to the top of the leg. Feeling even more challenge, reach to the ceiling, feel that extension, and feel that work. Okay, can you do this with the foot flat? I mean, sorry, the knee on the ground with the foot flat or knee 
just off the map. Now here comes the challenging part of your four this morning. Take a deep breath and press up, but don't lock that knee out. And back down. So you almost touch that mat. Back up. And back down. Control the movement. Two more. Back up. Back down. Woo. One more. Press up. And back down. Hold for breath. And release. Bring that foot to the floor. It's for a break if you need it. If not, keep it up. Now we're going to hinge at the hips. Coming back down. Get the chest against the top of that front leg. And we're going back to the pyramid. And I'm going to try and straighten out that front leg as you press the back heel down. Again, maybe turning that foot out a little bit in the back. Try and get that back flat and straight. Ooh, and feel that stretch in that front leg. Again, using the exhale to deepen the stretch. Anytime you need a break, you can bend that front knee, come out of the pose to take a break. If you can, if you're able to, challenge yourself. Deepen that stretch. And using the exhale. Breathe in, exhale, deepen the stretch. Nice job, keep breathing through it. One more time, deep breath in. The exhale out. Inhale coming forward just a little bit. And then walk it back to the front. Ooh, take a deep breath in. Exhale out, lower the chest. Raising abdominals, inhaling, lifting back up. Arms to the ceiling. And exhale down. Let's shake his legs out, get a little bit of a break. Ooh. Grab a quick drink. Because we're not done yet. Hope you're all doing good out there. All right. So we're just about finished with our straddle stance. But we're not done with this chatter around the push-ups. We can still able to do a few more. So we're back to that nice, deep, nice straddle stance. Let's do a little shoulder roll back. Nice big inhales, reach up. As we exhale, hinge the hips, come all the way down to the floor again. Gentle bend in his knees. Now we're going to walk it out again. Now as we walk it out slowly, keep those abdominals brace. Come all the way in that plank. Drop the knees if necessary. If you're still able to, chatter on the push up. Down and back up. Walk it back in. Keep that back flat. flat. So you have to keep that core braced. Exhaling out, deepen that stretch. Inhale, raise the chest back up to a parallel to the ground. Walk it back out. Elbows leg by the side, down and up. Walk it back in again. Deep breath in through the nose. Exhale, lower that chest again. Inhale, lift parallel to the ground. Now we're going to try and use that pause at the bottom of these last two push-ups. Walk it out. Exhale down. And if you're able to, hold just off the mat. Stay here with me for a little bit. If you need a break, you can lie flat on the floor. Work them up when you're ready. With those triceps working, the core brace, press up. Walk it back. Big breath in. Exhale out. Chest towards the floor. Back flat. Last one here. Got a little surprise for you in this one. Walk it forward. Get on your knees. If you need to modify your able to come down. Now don't put on there if you can hold it here. Now when you come back up, we're going to go halfway up and back down one time. Now wait, stay in the bottom for me. Stay in the bottom. Hold it halfway up. Oh, right there. Hold. Back down. Hold it there. Maybe you can't help it up again. Hold. Back down. Oh yeah, come try it. Big breath in. Exhale, lower the chest. Now we've really warmed up. You should be a little lower than you did earlier. Feel that body. Maybe get those forearms to the mat. Exhaling. Using that breath to deepen the stretch. Big breath in. One last exhale out. Raising the abdominals with that back flat. 
lifting up the knees here, bring the hands above the knees to help you lift back up. Bracing all the way up and then release all the way up overhead. Big extension. And exhale. Woo! Shake up those arms. Walk it in gently. Nice job. Now we're going to transition to a balanced pose. So, set four started. Have maybe a sturdy chair, uh, maybe a couch, something to help with balance. Okay, so if you have that close by, the one thing is just fix pose. So it's called Warrior Three. So those of you who've been to our classes here, and you've had class with me, you've probably tried this. Uh, be patient. For those of you who haven't tried it, I'm going to demonstrate a couple modifications. Now I'm going to use a block, just to show how a block can help. But you can use the same assistance, whether it's the chair or sofa, okay? So the block, if you now again, I'd recommend something a little higher if you've never done this before. Okay, I'm just going to put the block here. Now, everybody at home, just pay attention. I know those of you who've done this, you're chomping to bit, you're anxious to do Warrior 3. Just give me a moment to demonstrate some modifications. So, first, I'm going to turn sideways so you can see this. So, we're going to start off with a big inhale up. Don't start yet. Big inhale up. Now, if you've never tried this before, I just want to make one foot back and just touch that toe. Just to feel that balance before we do anything else, okay? Then from there, the goal, now watch, don't try it yet. The goal is to come all the way down, keep those hips square level, thumb and toe and press out through the heel and reach. That's our goal, okay? We're using a prop or some of your balance to assist. So if this is challenging here with the toe, just lower and try and get your balance. And then gently lift the foot up a little bit. The block is here, or your chair, rest your hands on, say, the chair or the couch. Just use some balance, and work again that leg parallel to the ground. Then what you can do is maybe lift one arm at a time and alternate through that balance and work through it, okay? So there's some modifications for warrior three. If you've done this before, we're gonna breathe up, and we're gonna tilt right into warrior three and come down. Okay? So, a lot of modifications for you. Do what you can do. Please be safe. Err on the side of caution. If you're not sure about your balance, please use something to steady yourself. Another big thing is when you lift the hips, uh, lift the leg, try to let that outside hip lift like this. You'll see it go like this. Keep them as square as you're able to when you come down so you have nice square hips parallel to the floor, right? And once we get into warrior three, we're going to hold for a little bit. So, feet hip distance apart. Remember, hip distance is here. Little shoulder roll back. Now, big inhales will come up. Reach and sit. Feel that extension. Now, whatever you're able to do, come back, touch that toe on your mat, or if you're able to, full bend here. Sorry, toe forward. Bring that leg up. Top of next spine in alignment. Reach through the arms, press the heel out. Feel that extension and hold. Now, again, if you're using a prop, chair, couch, one arm up. Try and hold, switching out, alternating arms. Okay, just whatever you need to do. And we're just going to hold for a little bit, bracing the abdominals. Feel the hamstrings, quads, and that kind of leg working, that glute working. Hips, bring that outside hip for the one you're lifting down a little bit. And lift up slowly. Ooh, shake out that plant leg. All right, we're going to do the other side. So I'm going to rotate the other one around. Let's shake those legs out. The other thing I love about yoga is the workout we can get and we're barely moving sometimes. This pose takes all the muscle groups, your abdominals, your quads, your hamstrings, your calves and that plant leg, your shoulders and arms as you're reaching and extending. There's a lot going on in this one little pose. All right. Feet, hip this apart again. Little shoulder roll back. Nice big inhale as you reach up. Now as we exhale, toe forward again. Bring that toe, just touch the mat if that's good for you. If you can, lift that leg, press the heel out. Extend it through the spine and reach. Again, using that prop, chair, sofa, something sturdy. And alternating arms if necessary. Try first, both hands on that, and try to get the leg parallel to the ground if you can. That's our first goal. And then top of the next spine parallel. Then if you're feeling confident, then you can lift 
gentleness, an arm, maybe another arm, alternating. And eventually, we practice, we get to the point where both his arms come up and we reach and we stand and we hold. Good. Next thing, I'll lift up slowly, gently. Ooh, shake out those legs. All right, nice job. Grab a drink if you need it. Okay, we're gonna do one more balance pose, a little less strenuous. So let's find that mount pose from the beginning. Feet just apart, toes nice and wide. Soft knees, hips forward, bracing that core nice and strong. The shoulder roll back. Let his arms literally reach to the floor. Now take a nice big inhale, bring that foot out to the side. And as you exhale, we start with bringing that heel in just with the knee, knee pointing to the outside, hands, heart center position. So heart center, put your hands together, bring those thumbs right to the stern, okay? Now this is called tree. We're going to start here, find a focal point on the floor, maybe four or five feet in front of you, maybe a little further. Make sure you're nice and stable. A little more of a challenge, lift that foot up, the heel just with the knee, now press the calf gently against the bottom of the foot so you can put pressure on both. And keep that knee out to the side, shoulders are back and down, nice strong pounds. Now if you've done this before or you've gone home and a little more advanced, you can bring that foot all the way up in here if you like for that pose. Okay? But for now, if you've never done this before or you're showing your balance, just keep it here or here. Now we can transition what's called rooted tree if you like. Bringing those hands down, maybe do a kick symbol, and shoulders back down, relaxed. Or cactus. Or great oak, where you simply reach high into the sky, reaching towards those clouds. And just bring those hands back down, the heart center pushes. And bring that leg down, go shake it out a little bit. Shake out that plant leg. That plant leg might have put some work if you're bouncing a little bit. Back to that mountain pose. We'll shoulder roll back, extending, soft knees. Nice big inhale as that one leg comes out to the side. Exhale, hand starts in position at first. Heel just above that ankle, knee pointing out to the side. Find that focal point on the floor. Okay. Maybe four or five feet in front of you. Once you feel stable, if you'd like, you can lift that heel up, just below the knee, pressing the calf and the bottom foot against each other, equal pressure. And again, you can bring that foot all the way up above the knee if you'd like this morning, if you feel you're able to do that. Maintain that good posture, shoulders back and relaxed, top of the head, neck, spine, on alignment. If you'd like, you can root it, tree, make that okay symbol. Perhaps doing cactus with his arms come up. Or great oak reaching high into the skies. Feel that stretch and extension. If you'd like, bring those hands together, bring them back down into a heart center position. And release down. Whew, shake his legs out a little bit. Come back to our mouth pose. Little shoulder roll back. We're going to slow things down and stretch a little bit before we finish class. So again, feet hip distance apart, little shoulder roll back. Now we're going to take a nice big inhale and bring that left arm up towards the ceiling with that right arm extend towards the floor. Transition the majority of your weight to that left side and reach up and over. Now as you come to the side, don't let that head fall towards the shoulder. Keep it aligned with the spine and feel a nice big stretch. Reach into the floor with that right arm, palm in, up and over. Head back to center, bring that arm down. 
being in hell with our mom preach. This is the first goal. If you're able to extend that arm straight, if you have shoulder issues, do what you're able to do comfortably. Then stay on the floor and transition the majority of the weight down to the other side. Reach up and over. Let the other arm reach to the floor. Keep that head, neck, and line up the spine. Feel that extension. Back to center first, bring that arm down, and shoulder low. So now, next we're trying to work on a little stretcher. Now you can start just touching the toe and rotating it this way. It's a little more of a challenge, a little more balance work this morning. Hand here and look back over the shoulder. So either spine, just touch the toe, bring that up, hand to the small of the back, and look back over the shoulder. For a little more of a challenge, you can lift and rotate. And if you're lifting, pull that knee in towards the center by a little bit as you look back and extend. Using the exhale to deepen that rotation. Head back to center first. Come back around. The shoulder roll. Other side. Now you got to start with the toe here. Bring that hand in the small of the back. Look back over that shoulder. If you're feeling up a little more challenge, you can bring that knee up and rotate. Looking back over that shoulder. Using that exhale, that breath to deepen the stretch. Head back to center first, leg down. Shake out the arms of the shoulder. Okay, I'm going to turn sideways to this next one. Big inhale as you come up, reach the ceiling. As you exhale, come down around behind, clasp those fingers behind the back, and press the palms together. If you're able to, if not, just clasp the fingers. If you're not able to clasp the fingers, just bring your arms back as far as you can, it's okay. If you have a towel available, you can bring the towel. And just grab it like so. So whatever you're going to do, towel, just bring the arms back, clasp the fingers, press the palms together, whatever you're able to do. Then from there, for a little more stretch, come with this chest open, shoulders back. For a little more stretch, just hinge the hips. So just face that forward fold from the earliest, arms back. Let those arms fold back, up over, up over the shoulders, if you're able to. For those of you who say you can't do this, when I started yoga years ago, I could barely get my hands away from my hips. So practice this makes a big difference. Core brace back flat. Now our head might be lower hips, so when come up, come up slowly and gently. Take a nice big inhale and come up nice and slowly and gently. Using your abdominals and brace and come up. Nice and gently. Back down. Release shape out. Little shoulder roll. Nice. Right, so from here, once you come to the floor, have a seat. So we're going to do a little bit of breathing just to finish up. So, we're going to come to the floor, have a seat, however you're comfortable. If you have a pillow at home, feel free to sit on a pillow, roll up a blanket. Then you can sit with your legs out in front, you can sit with them crossed, you can sit half lotus, full lotus, however you're comfortable this morning, okay? Please don't leave us, this breathing part is very important, so I'd like you to stay with us through this, okay? So, a little shoulder roll back, check that posture. Like you close your eyes and come up with that. Take a nice deep long breath in through the nose. Follow that quick exhale out through the mouth. <sighs> so we worked kind of hard this morning. Repeat that a few times. If you're feeling fatigue anywhere in your body or maybe a little lingering tightness, as you exhale out, let that breath release that. So when you inhale, send the breath to wherever your body's feeling fatigue. Feel that breath traveling to say your legs or your shoulders or your back, wherever it is. And as you do that big exhale out, allow that breath to carry it away. So just one or two more times. One more time. Good. Now with your eyes closed, so we turn back to that three-part breath from when we started class. So nice, long, slow, deep breath in through your nose. Love it. Nice, long, gentle exhale back out through the nose. 
First step, try and make the inhale and the exhale equal lengths. Bring your mind's attention and awareness to your breath. Set aside any other distractions or busyness. On that next inhale, try and start that breath at the bottom of the abdomen, bottom and up through the lungs and into your chest. And on the exhale, release the top of the chest first, bottom and down through the lungs and into the abdomen. That's our three-part breath. Again, hands resting your knees wherever they're comfortable. And bring the mind's awareness to the breath. Our goal at this point in time is not to empty our minds, but to simply be present in this moment. We want to be able to experience this breath without any thoughts or concerns of the outside world. In yoga, there's this thing called the monkey mind. It means our minds are constantly chattering all throughout the day. Thoughts are running through our mind. Often they don't even make any sense. It could be thoughts of the past, the future, book we just read, movie we saw. A worry, a concern, a joyful moment, but our minds are always, always a chatter and busy. So the goal for this morning, just for a minute or two, is to quiet the mind a little bit and allow it to focus on being present here in this moment and nowhere else. It might help to focus on every aspect of your breath. Have the mind be aware as you inhale. Experience the abdomen, the lungs, and the chest. How do they move and expand with that breath? As you exhale out, feel the release in the chest, the lungs, and the abdomen. How do you want to experience every part of your breathing? And if those thoughts come to your mind and distract you, just acknowledge them, set them aside, and come back to the breath. You want to quietly say your mind in as you breathe in and out as you breathe out to focus on that breath. And all you want to hear in the way is the word in and feel that breath as you breathe in. As you breathe out, it's always this out and exhale back out. Just be present with your breath. For those of you that may be new to yoga, again, in each class, we bring our hands to heart center position again and say the word namaste. Now, again, this is again, completely optional. If you're not comfortable with it, that's fine. Um, namaste, the definition we like here that we use is the light in me honors the light in you. So when I say namaste, I'm honoring all of you that are out there watching. If you choose to say it in return, you're honoring all those who may be present with you and those who aren't present. You're just honoring the presence of all those who are there. And we're sharing our light with all of those. So, again, it's completely up to you. If you're comfortable with it, hands start center position. Namaste. Thank you so much for spending some of your valuable time with us today. Bless you. Go out there, share the light, and um, hopefully we'll see you all back soon. Take care.